Good afternoon. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, we'll say hi to everybody as everybody filters in here. But let's uh, let's just go over the setup of what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to continue making guides. Um, hey, Shagul. Lodaval Jr., Toby Hall, Eredmir, Hypermapping. What's up, everybody? Rain LA. Butterlords, there you go. So um, I, I know I'd mentioned I might consider not doing guides. I'm going to keep doing guides. So in this video, we're going to do a lot of the testing work for the Empire Army Tactics Guide. So we're going to test a little bit of army composition, tactics, uh, things like that. We'll be collecting some data. Maybe trying some different types of setups and things like that. So, hey, Trigger, what's going on, man? No problem. So let me just show you what I'm going to be tabbing back and forth to. I'm, I'm not sure that I'll do too much. Uh, I did a test run here real quick. Let me, here, let me show you guys. So if you look at this, this is my army composition database. I think I made this shared. Did I share this one? I can't remember. Uh, so anyways, what I want to do is make sure these tests are, are held somewhat evenly. So we're going to be testing total wage rather than just number of units, because I feel like that's a bit more important. Uh, so we'll be filling this out. I'll take screenshots. We'll put it in the data and then we'll, we'll kind of compare stuff in the video. I, I probably won't do any comparison in this specific guy in, in this stream, but we'll, we'll be collecting the data and you'll see it live at least and then get some idea. Uh, there we go. So, like I said, I'll, I'll probably tab back and forth a little bit on that. So, hey, Fasan, what's up, man? The only good composition is full fee and champion. Yeah, that or cons guards. But, you know, for the, for those that, that want to mix it up just a little bit, <laughs> it might be good to, to do something else. So, let's see. 25 units. I'm trying to think. So, I, I was trying to see. I, I know Cataphract are probably one of their better units. Obviously, it's a tier 6. So we're going to want to do a bit of testing with them just to see if they're balanced or not. So let me, I ran my test, but I, I actually did it a bit inaccurate. So let me redo this. Actually, let me go, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So let me switch to the other screen. So we have Imperial Veteran Infantry. We have Imperial, not Capslock, Imperial Train, Veteran Archer. Uh, let's see, we're doing 25% of 100, would be 50. So there should be 50 of each. And then there's there's the regular Imperial, there's the regular Imperial Cataphract. So we have 50 of those. If we can type a zero, there we go. And then the Bukalari. But the problem with the Bukalari is there's no tier five, there's no tier four. Oops, actually, this is supposed to be something else. What's the one right below the Cataphract? Is the Imperial Heavy Horseman? That's what that one's supposed to be. Imperial Heavy Horseman. There we go. And 50 of each. So if you look at the total wage here, it's 1800. So that means we can go total wages on our elite cataphracts up to 1800. I think I was. Five. Six. So just, yeah, pretty much. It's close. So 1800, and the previous total was 1800. So something like this would be balanced based on, let's make sure this is accurate. So when the guide comes out and you see the data, you're not like, what the heck? Uh, so this should be balanced based on wages. Now we have two more dinars, obviously in ours, that's really not a big deal. Let's go to the actual test. And I chose a map that's gonna be fairly flat. So that shouldn't be a problem. And let's also make sure we have the same commander on both sides so that there's no, discrepancy uh let me switch because i used the wrong number what do we have here so we have 106 so we need to change ours to 106 start and again we're not we're not going to be commanding we're just going to be given the f6 let them handle it and we'll, we'll go slow for a little bit until they meet just so we can kind of see what what the ai does so i've, I've noticed yeah when you give the f6 or the f the F1, F4, sometimes they'll they'll group on, on a, the closest unit, which may not necessarily be the best. So obviously when we start commanding, we're gonna have better control. And I got 
check. There we go. And again, these these will take all day if, if you don't speed it up. So we'll we'll just speed it up a little bit. Now this there, there's a couple things that you'll notice with cavalry. So there's there's a few situations where they do really well. Hey hero, hey Zeth, what's up? Can you zoom in on that spreadsheet? Yeah, I can do that. Sorry, when I when I go back to it, I'll, I'll zoom in on it. I'll make it bigger. Sorry, I'm I'm on a, a pretty big monitor, so I, I for my eyes it makes sense of that. But yeah, I didn't even think of that for for the stream. Now this is kind of interesting because I just ran this test prior with less units. And the less units won pretty handedly too. So it looks like they're struggling a bit on this one. Although uh, what I was mentioning is there's there's a couple situations where cavalry really excel. So when the enemy formation is is really spread out. So like right now these these enemy infantry are fairly well organized. They're moving and they're a little bit separated so they're not going to do quite as well. But if, if it's like a full on battle and they're all over the place or like a archer formation that's in loose formation, the cavalry do really, really well. Uh, they also cavalry also do really well at, at small battles, small numbers of units. So if you have a thousand unit battle and you charge a hundred, uh, charge a hundred of your best cavalry into, you know, two or three hundred enemy infantry, it's going to be a bad day. You're just not going to have a good time there. But if you take that same ratio, but you scale it down, let's say you have 30, you know, let's say you have 10 cav versus the enemy infantry, which and they only have, you know, 20 infantry. So 10 versus 20, but it's small numbers. For some reason, the small numbers, the cav will actually win. So in this case, they actually did pull it out. So not, not bad at all. So what I'm going to do, let me switch over. Let's switch over to, and for some reason... That so we can still at least see. I think if I slide over like that, you can still see. You can't see the kills per dinar, which is unfortunate. I think one more out. Oh, one more out should be okay, right? Hopefully that's that's good enough. Uh, and actually, you know what? It's kind of a pain. Let me put it back on my other one because I need to. I need to be able to get the data from. Here, let's put these back. All right, give me one second to get this situated here. Okay, there we go. And what screen are we on? We're on that one. We want to be on this one. All right, there. And this one. <laughs> All right, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, so what we want to do is fill in the data here. So our cataphracts got 171 kills. They lost 83. And since it's... Uh, Custom battle, there's no wounded, so we don't have to worry about that. As far as kills go for the veteran infantry, so they got five. Oh, no, no, sorry, archers. Uh, I wish they did it in the same order. I guess I can just follow that order. Okay, so archers got five. Bukalari, bu Busalari, how do you pronounce it, got 13. Heavy horsemen got 17. And melee infantry got 48. Now, if you look at the killed, obviously everybody died, but some of them ran before they were fighting. So, so this one's only 34. See, the archers was 49, so they got completely obliterated. Horsemen, 46, they got obliterated, and 42. So looking at this, you can see there's a couple interesting stats here. So if you look at your your units per your unit KDR, so for every every one cataphract, they got two kills, and then interestingly enough, for every one infantry they had, they got 1.4 kills. So the only unit that does well against cavalry in general is infantry or other cavalry of the same caliber. But then you're you're basically trading one to one. So if you look at the uh, these are tier four units, and if you look at their dinars per kill. You, they're only having to pay 8 dinars of wages to get one kill. Whereas our cataphracts were paying 10 dinars to get one kill. So it's actually less effective of a unit in this battle. So the, the veteran infantrymen are actually a better unit. So if we were to swap out all these units, let's try it. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. All right, let me make sure I know how to go back and forth. So let's go back to here. Let's say we make our, our army 100% infantry and we run that same battle let's see what would happen 
Follow you, sergeant. So we'll watch it. Let me try and get my chat back up on the screen so I'm not ignoring everybody. There we go. All right, the, the Bussolari are good in early game if you do small trade runs. Yeah, they, you know, there's there's no such thing as a bad unit. There's just bad situations for them to be in. So that that's the way I, I kind of feel about the game. So uh, the stream started a little after you explained the goal method of what we're trying to show us today. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a recap. So we're we're getting ready to do the tactic series for the army composition. And in this one specifically, we're focusing on the Empire troops. So right now we're just doing some basic testing, trying to get a, a decent idea of, of what kind of army composition we should use and what units counter what. So for example, the, the Imperial Cataphract are probably considered the best unit on the Empire for, for most people. I guess some people would say the Imperial Legionary, but you know, it's the T6 unit, so you would assume that they're the best. The, the pikemen are actually really good against cavalry and only cavalry. If you can get them separated in their own unit, they're, they're really good at filling that role. Against any other situation, they're horrible. So, <laughs> okay, the Sword Sisters. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I retract my statement. There are some bad units. Uh, so, so if we look at this one, again, this is the same wage. This is the same wage uh, army. So these, both of these armies, cost the exact same. But notice the infantrymen did significantly better. So obviously, infantry counter cataphract, just because they stay in a tight formation, but. Um, you know, as the player, you can counter the cat you can counter the enemy cavalry by keeping any of your units tight and compact. So, just something something to think about. Now, does this mean we should not use cataphract? No, I don't think so. I think I think we should probably use them, but we need to make sure we use them smartly. And in this case, we need to make sure we're not sending them into a, a unified infantry square. I think that's a horrible idea. So, uh, let me. What I need to do is make sure I can get this data without deleting it all. And preferably without making you guys have motion sickness. Because <laughs> I when I when I collect my data, I noticed when I was doing my recordings, it was it was kind of making me a little bit dizzy because the screen would go haywire while I'm trying to get a screenshot. So let me just get a quick screenshot of this. All right, so we're going to screenshot just the important data. All right, Cataphract versus regular army. Good to go. So what we'll do is we'll clear out all this. And then we'll we'll come up with another another idea. Let's go back to Bannerlord. Does does wage even matter though? The limiting factor armies is is never how much it costs, is how much you're able to cram into your party limit. Well, sort of, but if, if you want to have a good way of of comparing two you know two armies that are equal enough, then you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna compare wages, right? Because if if you just go based on how many units you can cram in, um, it it's not really a, a good metric of of what a good tactic is. So for example, if if you have all fee and champions, right? If you have an army of five hundred fee and champions. Uh, you can beat pretty much any army out there, just about. I mean, there's some situations where you might have a little bit of trouble, but um, but not everybody wants to play that way, first of all. And second of all, uh, maybe you're at a spot where you can't really get to them. Like, maybe you're playing an Asurai and you don't want to go up there and, and recruit them or something like that. So if, if you want to just play, like, a regular army versus army, <clears throat> then in that case, you're going to want to have, have to use some different types of tactics. So, yeah, there's always going to be a meta, and there's going to be if you know the best way to play the game and then there's going to be a fun way to play the game so why don't we do this let's uh let's go against now who does the empire struggle against the most i feel like probably the kazate if i had to guess i don't feel like they struggle against anybody else so let's let's deal with a kazate army then and let's um let's go ahead and get a nice mix of units so we'll do tier five four and three so this will be a, a reasonable representation of what a, a legit army would be and then same thing with the archers 
five four three. The cav will just keep to five and four. I feel like your cavalry, you're gonna want to have some better units. And then same thing, we'll do some of their noble units, and then we'll go all the way down to six, five, and four. And then for our army composition, we'll do the same thing. And then we can adjust it later once we kind of figure out how we want to do it. Now, archers versus crossbowmen, I feel like against the Kazate, you're probably going to want to have archers just because the, the damage, the DPS that they can put out is, is better. So, and the same thing, we'll do that. And we only have one option for the Blue Solari. And we're going to move this up to 500 units. Uh, wait a second. Munchug, there you go. So as far as infantry goes, they're probably going to have at least 30 to 40% infantry, because that's just usually what the AI does. So let's lock it at 40%. Archers, probably not too much. Maybe 20 to 25%. And this is pretty even. Actually, you know what? Let's back this off. 35. Let's go 20. Oops. Let's go 35%. 20% here, and that'll lock in 25% of the horse archers. So there'll be a little more, little bit more weighted towards that. So, what do you think about Chat GPT and Battle Lord? Would it make the game more interesting? I don't know, man. It's it's hard to say. It, it's an interesting idea. So, George Burgess, uh, hi from Spain. Hey, buenos dias. ¿Cómo está? Actually, if if you're in Spain, then you'd be with a. I I don't, I don't know how to do the 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 Castellano accent or however you pronounce it. Conozco, conocer. I don't, I don't know how to do that very well. I, I learned Mexican Spanish, so it's like, orale way, like that. <laughs> Is it just me, or are the Sturgeon Elite Spearmen better than Imperial Legionaries? It's hard to say. I think it, they're probably better in, in most situations, or some situations, but maybe not all, so. Um... Empire, you run 50, 25, 20, 25. Yeah, honestly, the so I don't really care for the, the Busolari. And I, they're going to get completely outclassed. So in this case, I would probably run zero Busolari, to be honest. I would just run zero, flat out. I would probably rely more heavily on my infantry, because the infantry are really good. And then you probably want to have at least 30% here, or 40% or even. And then maybe keeping a, a reserve force and you just move these guys around. So we'll we'll try it like this and just kind of see how it goes. Like I said, we're we're testing stuff. So it's it's not not the end of the world. All right, let's uh let's see how that goes. Now, we're not going to be taking advantage of any um like hills or hiding in the corner. We're going to do flat out battles cuz obviously there's tactics where you can use that'll give you a pretty big advantage. And I don't know that we want to test that out necessarily, so. Only way to kill the Kazates is to become uh, mad as in a siege defense. Yeah, that's true. They're they're pretty tough to deal with, but there's it, it's doable. Wait, did we really give ourselves the same number of infantry as archers? Uh, I don't know why we did that, actually. Hang on. Let's look at that again. And also, I want to change this to noon because it's easier to see. Yeah, we did actually. Mm, oh, because of the the, the the cab. You know, what we should probably do is is actually make this forty five. We we want to have more infantry because they're just gonna do better against the cab. So, uh, open field is playing into horse archer strength. It is correct, which is even better. If we can figure out a way to win the battle, then it's gonna be even even more in our favor. You know what I mean? So so what we're gonna do is we already know that the horse archers are gonna veer off to this side. So we'll use our, our main line. And actually what we should do is probably split these guys up. So let's do this. Let's uh let's put our cavalry over here. Let's make this a let's make this a regular archer. And let's go let's go like 50%. 25 and 25 is fine. So we'll do a main archer contingent right here. And then our, our infantry shouldn't have any problem. Actually, let's put them in shield wall because they're, they're, yeah, I was going to say their formation is going to shrink when we do that. So let's put them in a nice little line, not too thin, 
And then again, we're going to use our cavalry as like a, uh, a reinforcement. If they if they charge our line, we're going to use them to hold them in place. This is, yeah, this is not 1.1.0, but there, there, when, when I tested it, there wasn't much difference. So this should be, this should be pretty close. Uh, so let's get archers. Yeah, so we want a line here. We'll probably want a line somewhere over here, although oh, we're backed up to the, the the back of the map, aren't we? Well, well, we'll just keep them in a couple small lines. That's fine. Let's see how that goes. We can that'll give us more flexibility when the, the battle actually starts. All right, so let's see what they do. Obviously, they're going to send their horse archers first, which is fine. That's what we expected. And why don't we beef these guys up just a little bit? Yeah, so we'll go a little bit thicker line. That'll give us a little more stopping power. Now, these guys should be spaced out enough to where they can shoot. So this should be okay. And we could send our cavalry in. This would be a good time to send the cav in this way and then flank in from the back. Or we can just send them directly at them. And then we need to make sure we keep it ta keep it tabs on these guys. So let's go ahead and give them. They're in position close enough to where we can give the charge command. Oops, we're jumping. <laughs> All right, so they're doing pretty good. We do have to worry about this front line. So their infantry 140, 174 versus 224. We do have numbers on them but we have to worry about their cavalry so now that they're they're pulling back we need to pull back our our cav as well so their horse archers took some damage but they're not out of the fight yet i think we'll leave our archers here they're still getting some decent shots on them so that's fine we don't have a good flank on their infantry right now so we'll just hold let's get our cavalry and shield wall Actually, we're going to need to defend. They're going to be sending their cab in. So we're going to use our cab to stop their cab. And we're going to have one side undefended. Not much you can do about it. You're better off most of the time grouping up all of your guys on one side. Destroying that one, one flank and then focusing on the others. Okay, so if you look right here. Their horse archers are, are done. They're completely done. So what we're going to do is we're going to send... So our, our archers need to get involved now. And they're not going to get... They're not going to have time to get a flank off. So we're sending them to hold fire. And we're sending them straight to the front lines. They need to go in and be melee combatants now. We'll have strength in numbers at that point, And we should be able to handle their, their numbers. So this is kind of... Low. We may actually be losing this. I think... We spent too much time focusing on the horse archers, and we didn't have enough to answer their, their melee troops, I think. I think maybe leaving them in, in shield wall was a bad idea. So that means what we should probably do... Oh man, yeah, we got stomped. <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't even the horse archers that did the damage, so what we gotta do is, is figure out. F1, F3 is the best tactic. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, man. Uh, I'll, I'll show you again. We'll, we'll rerun the battle. I'll show you what F1, F3 looks like and see if it's if it's better. It might be. You never know. Yeah, so what we have to do is, is see where it went wrong. So if we look at the stat, so that's pretty much over. Let's see what the tail, what the, what the numbers say. So low kills, the heavy horsemen did terribly. The elite cataphract barely matched the numbers. The imperial cataphract did less than than uh you know losing is a good sign it means that when you find a winning strategy they're actually meaningful exactly so i was trying to to uh, that's why you have it if you have like even versus even army then when you fight when you're outmatched you still at least have a chance uh shield wall formation is terrible in melee it depends it's actually pretty good a lot of the times but sometimes it's not um but if you look right here there's not really anywhere where we won. Our, our, our Palatine Guard, so the archers did okay. 
everybody else got stomped. But on their side, let's see who did really well. The Darkon. So there's there's the problem. This is 100% the problem. Their Darkon did really well. Their Spear Infantry did really well. So 107 kills to only 24 deaths. So their infantry is really, really strong. The Spearmen, even the Spearmen. Look at that. That's a tier 3 unit. And it outperformed. Now, if you look at their horse archers, so the horse archers aren't even a problem. The, the Torgood, 8 to 41. The Keshig, 20 to 37. And the Khonsgard. The Khonsgard did okay. But even the Khonsgard underperformed when you compare it to the Darkon and the Spear. Yeah, so this this is this is pretty pretty telling. Here, I'll I'll show you real quick. Let's do uh, F1, F3. And just see what happens. <laughs> what did their infantry do so well? You know, because they actually have really good infantry. I, I don't know. A lot of people seem to think they're not that good. They don't have... Um, what do you call it? They, they don't have the shock troops. So that does hurt them a bit. But uh, And that's what we should probably do. is We should probably add shock troops to counter theirs. Is, is most likely what we should do. So we'll re we'll rerun it again, and we'll we'll maybe mix in fifty percent shock troops or something like that, and see how well they do. Because I, I have a feeling it's going to make a big difference. So looking right here, F one F three is is not viable still, um, not in the least. It, it's actually probably worse. Maybe not by that much though, because we got stomped pretty bad there. <laughs> All right. So what does this look like? So if we look right here. How did their Darkon do? Their Darkon still did really well. Their Spear Infantry did better than even, and their, their uh, Kazate Spearmen did less than, than even. Now on our side, the Cataphract, Elite Cataphract. See, the Cavalry, honestly, I, I really... I, I, I struggle to find a use for Cavalry. I really do. It, it's really, really difficult for me to find a, a situation where I want to use Cavalry, and that's why I usually end up skipping them. They, they just underperform unless you find the perfect situation where you can use them well, so... I don't know. I, I think maybe I'm just not good at using cab, and so I, I tend to, to bias against them, but I, I, re I really do try hard to, to use them, so they seem really weak. It's weird because sometimes they do really well, and sometimes they don't. It's only in certain situations, so... But the, the legionaries did pretty well, so, you know, obviously that's that's a good sign. So let's, let's rework our army. I, personally, I would do this. I would go... Oh, we need to unlock these, don't we? I would do this. I would completely get rid of them. I would maybe keep the same 40 or 35% archers. Maybe 35% archers. And then here I would probably add in some Manabliaton. We'll, we'll do both the Imperial Elite and the Imperial Manabliaton. We'll get rid of the Tier 3. That's fine. And then let's get rid of their Tier 3 just so that it's even. We want to make sure we're, we're comparing apples to apples. So only Tier 4 and Tier 5. And this one we have Tier 4, Tier 5. It's going to be 50-50. Everything else should stay the same. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it won't. But like I said, when you run tests like this, if you look at the numbers, you can see where your deficiency is. So you prefer Manavlian? Yeah, Manavlian's over the Cav. I agree. I agree, man. They're so good. As far as front line, meet your second archer around the side to shoot. Yeah, the, the problem with sending the archers in that situation is their Cav were roaming pretty freely, and so our archers wouldn't have been all that effective. So I found, especially if you're not using a, a mod like RVM, it's pretty hard. Uh, how do I put it? it? It's pretty hard to be tactical because you just don't have enough time to to react. So depends a lot on sizing, to be honest. Yeah, you're, I think you're probably right. Okay, so here's the question: Do we keep the same formation? I don't think we do. Let's get. Our commander out of there, you're just wasting space. So I think what we need to do is maybe use two archers. And maybe two infantry. So let's try that. I think even is, is probably fine. So we'll do that. Actually, does... Yeah, see, there's no bonus. Okay, good. I wasn't sure how they handled that, but it looks like there's no bonus for assigning a, a captain, so that's fine. So what we'll do, let's let's do this. Let's make so we already know the, the horse archers are gonna be coming over on this side, right? 
So we can set up a nice little formation. But what we're going to want to do is give ourselves a little bit more breathing room. Let's do two lines. We already know they're going to come on that side. And like I said, if you space them out a little bit, you can get the entire line shooting, even though only three rows should be. So, Yeah, you, I didn't assign them because there's no bonus. I was just checking to see if there's any bonus. We, we can assign them. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. The only problem is sometimes it'll space the infantry out if we do that, but we'll see. It may not be an issue. All right, so let's, let's send our infantry out a little bit. Oh, but we want to do it this way because they're going to have the hill advantage if we do that. We'll get our infantry over on this side. Alright, so this... Let's go ahead. Shield wall. Okay, well, let's see how our archers do this time. Like I said, we have layered defenses. And it looks like all three rows, or all four rows are firing, which is good. So that's fine. Hopefully we can outshoot them. If not, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, our biggest deficiency was was the line. So we're, we're trying to fix that right now. So if they want to trade with their archers, that's fine. We'll get the archers involved later at some point. Now what we want to do is try and meet... Let's meet their cavalry. They're going to be charging. We'll, we'll try and get a nice perpendicular... Uh, we, we want to have our line perpendicular to where their charge is coming from, at least, so we can uh, meet it head on. Alright, how are we doing back here? Not sure. Let's close that line a little bit. So we've got our own custom V formation. Alright, so they're they're going to skirmish with us. That's fine. Oh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I hit the wrong button. Alright, so we're going to get charged a little bit there. So I meant to get the archers up here. So let's get our archers. And since they're going to leave our flank open or alone, let's go ahead and send them on the side. If they want to just change, if they want to trade arrows, that's fine. We'll hold. And we're not getting any kills here. There's our first one. There's a couple. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to try if these see if these guys react differently in shield wall or not. So we may end up switching them at some point. All right, so these archers are doing okay. Let's see, this is group four. Let's get these guys on the hill. Now watch, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get some flanking fire. And if they charge our archers, we're going to get them in the tightest uh, line formation that we can make. And we are starting to lose some, some people to the archers, but it's not a big deal. It's only a couple. And they're going to run out of ammunition soon, so. So if they want to trade like this, I think we're okay doing it. Yeah, see, we're, we're trading back. We're trading back. I don't want to say perfectly, but it's not bad. And I, I'm kind of curious why... Oh, you got knocked out, huh? <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. Now, I'm curious why they're not charging in. Okay, so they are starting to push. I wonder if they're out of ammunition. And I, I'm really curious to see how well our archers are doing in this in this case. So as soon as their line hits ours, we're going to go ahead and do both in the line formation and charge. We'll see if that works better. I believe line formation works better for shock troops, and that's who we're really... The, the shield wall is just supposed to hold off arrows so we're gonna select both we're gonna go side by side line formation and charge oh look at that we met both of them head on so we met both of their their formations all right let's go ahead and move our archers forward a little bit so they can get a little bit better accurate fire i, I don't know if we're doing better but it looks like our wall our shield wall in front is actually doing a little bit more they're a little bit more effective now this is when this happens line formation Get him as tight as you can. Same thing with these archers. We're going to go line formation. As tight as we can make it. Alright, there we go. So we, we, we bring our archers as tight as we can. That's going to give them the best chance of defending against cavalry. And obviously if you die, you can't control them anymore. That sucks, but... 
Okay, so it looks like that didn't work. <laughs> it's better. It's a step in the right direction, right? All right, let's uh, let's fast forward this because it looks like we did get stomped a bit. I'm really curious to see if our shock troops did uh, did a, a better job or not. So, all right, here we go. Tail of the tape. Uh, let's let these guys filter out real quick so we don't have to look at their fake numbers. Don't hate the unit blame the commander. That's probably true. Yeah. Okay, so if we look at numbers, so the Minavliton did even. They traded evenly. That's good. The Legionary still underperformed. The regular Minavliton, they actually performed just as well. Wow, look at that. So the Tier 4 and the Tier 5 units performed the exact same. The Palatine Guard did very well. The Trained Archers did horribly. The Veteran Archers did not so good either. And the Veteran Infantrymen did really poorly. Yeah, so this is, this is really bad. Uh, we, we're looking at the enemy infantry, so their dark gun did two to one, so they did pretty well. Heavy lancers, they're pretty even. Their hunters didn't really do anything. Consguard did really well, yeah. So the Consguard actually cleaned up this time. The Keshig did really well. Their archers did really well. Man, not pretty much everything did well except for their low tier horse archers. That's a tough one. So here's the question then. Do we just go all infantry? <laughs> we just go all infantry and just like bum rush them? Does Kazate Cav have couch lance? I don't think so. The heavy lancer? I don't think so. I think they're one of the few that don't, but they they they, they, they do really, really well in Cav versus Cav. Uh, and I think they do okay against infantry, but they're not quite as effective against archers if I remember. I gotta look at my data. I can't remember. So Okay, so interesting. What we could do, so their archers, let's see, their, heart, their archers didn't even do that much because I was hoping to see, actually the marksman actually did pretty well, 54 versus 10. Crossbow, we could do that. We could switch them out for crossbows. Let's see. If, let's switch these out for crossbows and see if that helped. Now we did get rid of a tier three unit, so we're going to get rid of their tier three unit so it's even. Yeah, and then I, I'm I'm pretty disappointed with the way the tier four infantry did. So let's get rid of them. We'll let them have all darkon. So we're gonna have a mix of shield wall. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna skew towards the Manabliton. So we're gonna have a thin shield wall in the front, but that's fine. I I mean, we got to do what we got to do. This is desperate times, right? Desperate measures. So shield wall charge with infantry works well, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. I we did it. Before, well, actually, we didn't. We held our position is why we didn't do it. But we did line charge this time. I think um, shield charge will probably use it and see if that helps. Now, interestingly enough, this time we do have a little bit of a force cover. So we could try and use that to our advantage. Uh, let's go ahead and assign this guy so he doesn't take up a slot. Oh, he's going to still take up a slot. You greedy bastard. All right, let's... um. You know, it was kind of nice having two infantry formations that we could slide around. I feel like that was pretty helpful. All right, so we're using crossbowmen. And uh, one thing I wasn't sure about, so how thin is our shield wall now? Because that's that's going to be kind of an important factor. Yeah, fortunately, they're putting a lot of the Manavlites on in the front. Now, does that mean this... See, it didn't even split it evenly. Oh, yeah, we have to... We can't even use two formations. We have to use one. Because what happened is it looks like there's more shields in, in this formation and less shields in the other formation. So it's it's not even even. That's so stupid. Okay, so if we shield wall, do we have Manavlites on in the front row? And we do. Okay, well... Uh, let's see. And we're going to have to do shield wall, so let's keep it like that. We'll keep it a decent formation. Actually, you know what we could do? Yeah, I, I think we'll leave it like that. Let's get rid of this one. 
we'll get a second archer formation right here. We'll go 50 50. And then these guys will go line formation because we need to get into position first. Okay. Like I said, we're trying not to use. They'll use their body as a shield? Yeah. We're trying not to use the terrain to our advantage as much because we're trying to make this like a legit battle. Forward! Bowman! Stand apart! Yeah, let's get one Bowman on this side. Another Bowman right here. Alright, so now we can shield wall. Let's push out into their space a little bit. And let's go ahead and get one of our... Yeah, let's get one crossbow section right here. Let's get another one. They're not actually flanking around as, as much as I thought they would. And what we're going to do is we're going to push... We're going to push them. It looks like the shields did filter to the front a little bit. I mean, there's like that idiot right there. You see this guy where my, my helmet's pointing? He's out there by himself without a shield. What an idiot. <laughs> Let's get the bowmen out. Let's get them into a better position here. So if we can envelop them, I think we'll have a better chance. I think maybe we're a bit too passive. All right. Oh, yeah. Now we're rumbling. And we're getting stomped. Look at that. These guys are getting completely demolished. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't a good formation. Yeah, micring the you can micro them into different formations. Yeah, we, we might have to do that. I was hoping to not do that, trying to keep this as simple as possible, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I am curious to see how well these uh, crossbowmen are gonna do though. All right, let me look. Yeah, our sh our front line got absolutely wrecked. Like, not even close got wrecked. All right, so I think we might know what's coming next, right? <laughs> Simple plus tail rolls never equates. Yeah, it's the tail rolls math, right? It's too comp. It's too. Uh, it's too much. Right, let's go. Let's go run at them. Good fun. Even the score here with our little crappy javelin. <laughs> nope, we're dead. <laughs> the the cause yeah the cause eight infantry are no joke. I a lot of people they I, for some reason they don't like them. Maybe they don't show up well in testing, but like in actual battles they do really well. So let's see. Oh, we need to speed this up. There's still people here. So looking at theirs again, their dark con absolutely wrecked us. So what this means is we need to stay away from their infantry as, as best we can, though. So. Is having cons guard in there really skew things? That is true. You're right. You're right. Because we don't have any tier six, we got rid of our cavalry. That's a very good point. We could back them off. But if you look at the if you look at the cons guard. They only got 39 kills, so out of the 450, they only had 39. It's a very small percent. Yeah, and <laughs> the crossbows, 26 and 80 deaths. They pretty much got stomped. Crossbowmen are decent, but the, they're, they're better in melee. But the, the problem is they just don't get as good of, of results at, at the range. So we'll, we'll switch back to, to the, the other one. Yeah, legionary got completely stomped the manavlian did better obviously oh and it's it's good to see that the uh the tier four didn't do as well as the tier five so finally they they did a little better but again they got stomped imperial crossbow let's see the sergeant okay, I'm, I'm gonna do something stupid I'm, I'm just curious i i gotta know so what if we just use manavlian and obviously we're gonna get peppered by arrows we'll leave it on on just uh We'll leave it on full speed. Oh, you know what? Actually, oops. 
Let's get rid of the crossbows again. Let's go back to the archers. I feel like they do a better job. In this role. In this role, rather. So it's not 100% of the time. Alright, so we're going full-on balls of the wall. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Alright, let's get our bowmen out. Now, we're going to have to micro these guys. Let's just send them straight in. They're going to get wrecked by arrows up until the point where they are actually the lines meet, but maybe once the lines meet, they're going to do well. I don't know. Yeah, so they're, they're taking some heavy casualties right here. But again, the, the plan is to get that gap closed as fast as possible. Let's get the bowmen up. If they can get nice close range shots at these calves in the backfield, they should be okay, I think. I don't know, maybe Navliton is the new meta. Probably not, but <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Dogface, thank you so much for becoming a member, man. I appreciate the support. I can shot, let's see. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I I feel like the Navliton only are actually doing better than when we had Legionary in there. This is actually really close. Look at this. Holy crap. They're going to get eaten up when, when it comes down to just horse archers, but, but I mean, still, they're doing better. This is crazy. I never thought these guys would do better. Uh, sorry, somebody asked a question about the mod. So the mods, uh, this is, uh, yeah, the RTS is the one that lets you zoom out and then also lets you speed up the battles. Uh, so our Manavliton are completely dead. They're all dead. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we got stomped. But, but I feel like the numbers are going to be better. Okay, so I I think you might know what's, what's coming next, right? I think you might know what's coming next. Yep, there you go. Foucault. <laughs> Foucault. That's a, that's a good experiment, by the way. There, There's a place near me. Uh, they have a, a giant Foucault pendulum. I love watching that thing. Have they been nerfed, the legionaries? I don't know. I Yeah, I'm not sure. The thing with legionaries is they do quite well against low tier, but maybe against comparable units, they may not fare quite as well. Okay, so how did we do? Manablia, actually, the Manabliotans performed better, so they did more kills than deaths. Even the, the regular Manabliotans did okay. Palace Guard got stomped, Archers got stomped, so obviously these are wasted units. So, as somebody mentioned in the comments, we are going 100% Manabliotan. Uh, let's spread these guys out just a bit. Now, what happens if we do this? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go top down because there's no tactics involved at this point. We're just it just looks like a, a field of ant. Uh and actually let's let's give them the move order just in case we don't wanna Oh wow, wait a second. Wait a second, what the heck? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to run through our Manavliton field. That's awesome. Okay, so they're they're hanging in there, but Oh, man. Wait, they're going to win. They're winning. What the hell? <laughs> okay, boys, new meta. We found it. What in the hell was that? Dude, that was insane. Okay, we've been... Oh, but you know what? Okay, there's, there's, one, there's one discrepancy here, though. We used only tier 5. No, no, no. We used both. We used tier 4 and tier 5. I was thinking I only did Manabliton, but we used both. What in the hell? Wow, they got stomped. Even the Darkon did they'd 59 to 84. Oh, man. Well, I mean, yeah, there goes everything out the window. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, here okay, here's here is a here is an a use case for cavalry possibly. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Let's go 20%. Let's get rid of No, we're going to keep the tier 6. That's right. The next meta 500 Volge? Yeah, seriously. Okay, so here Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I meant 80. There we go. Actually, let's do 90 and 10%. Here is a possible use case for cavalry because they're very fast and we're going to use that again. We're going to just put them in loose formation. 
Let's just put them in loose formation and see what they do. And then the cab, let's put them in the front. Alright, so we're gonna keep our cav. We just want to disrupt their formation. That's all we care about. Cavalry are blockers. All they are are blockers. We want to get get their get their archers tied up. Yeah, see, look at that. Tie them up. Get in there. Get their archers from keep them from shooting, and allow our metabolites on to get in there. Oh, we didn't give the charge command. All right. Well, I might have goofed on that one. Well, this is a good test, though. If they still win this, then you know Manablates aren't really that good because I had them sitting there for, like, 30 seconds doing nothing. Wow, look at that. They're doing really well. But they have a lot of horse archers still, I think. Oh, no, they don't. They don't have any horse archers. I think the morale dropped, though. Yeah, they lost the morale. Oh, man, that's close. A lot closer than than I was expecting it to be. Okay, well, so what we'll do now? I think, oh man, that's so. Let's just make sure. Let's we gotta test it a couple times just to make sure that that's actually what happened. So let's get a nice wide formation. Okay, let's go here. So make it. Nice and wide, because that's going to allow you to catch all their horse archer and, and uh, cavalry formations out of out of uh, out of position. Yeah, I think when you have this wide of formation, they don't really know what to do. And don't give charge command, by the way. Do not give charge command. Give them a move command, and then as they get close to the enemy line, then you give the charge command. Because what happens is they'll start chasing the people that they should not be chasing. So now we'll give charge command. Alright, so here we go. Let's see if it was a fluke or if it was legit. <laughs> Alright, so they're... They're losing slightly, but looks like they're catching up. Oh, no, they're catching up for sure. They took over. So this is... It was not a fluke. So this is legit. Wow, man. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> okay, so that's such a boring it's such a boring army to make, and it's not all that interesting, but it seems like that's one of the best ways to counter. But how does it fare against other you know what we'll do? Let's do this. Let's back out. Let's go to an actual campaign. Uh Consgard losing to shock troops. It's because they're rushing in. They're they're getting some shots off, but they end up running in. It uh, part of it is because uh, part of it is because they're uh, they're confused by how long that infantry formation is. I think the AI is having a trouble with. Oh no, I meant to do. Oops. Yeah, let's just do a sandbox real quick. We'll load up. We'll we'll cheat in an army of just Manabliton and the other ones. We'll go around. We'll test it against all the different uh, factions. And then obviously we'll go back and do like a legit army after this, but I, I was at least looking for something that we could use if, if you know, all else fails. So I don't really care what we do here. We're just gonna choose whatever. And we're gonna put it on Bannerlord, of course. All right, uh, let's see, we gotta turn this on. All right, so it is campaign give. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that was the one. Okay, so let's do... We'll max out our site at 500. Uh, so we want grain, let's just do like a thousand. We don't have to worry about it. Campaign gold. It would help if we entered in a number. Okay, cool. So 100 million bucks, no big deal. And what we're going to do is let's just go siege some people. We'll get into a fight that we should probably lose because we're outmatched. Uh, like, let's just go siege uh, Orton Guard. Uh, we have to attack them first, don't we? 
Oh, well, let's go do it. We'll siege the town. Let's see. They should all group up and, and attack us, but let's see what they do. Just putting guy checks the code, all things like the best XP weapon. Oh, yeah. Who are you? Hey, Dimitris, thank you so much, man. Thanks for showing up today, by the way. Okay, so we are attacked by a bigger army, so we should technically lose this. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so balance of power is in their favor. Let's just see what happens. So same thing. Loose formation. That'll help avoid a little bit. It keeps them from grouping up as well, because these guys need a bit of room to swing. Let's get them nice and wide. And again, we want to give the move order, not the charge command, because that's going to screw up the AI. Yeah, see, look at They think our center of our formation is right here, and so they're okay charging over that way. Now, we could give the charge command right here and just completely wreck their horse archers. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> it is a massacre. Wow. That is a massacre. Although they do have some reinforcements, so it's not over yet. We yeah, are our our guys are doing pretty well. They've got a few people left in the back. What we should probably do is is reform. Let's get a nice wide formation and then we're just gonna run at them. Alright, let's reform before we charge. Wait, are they retreating? Oh, they're re they're <laughs> they're running, cowards. Finish off the last couple cav. Okay, so how did we do? Yeah, five sixty four. Five sixty four to two oh four. So about was that two and a half to one, roughly? Yeah, 113 losses. Still not that bad. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can just send. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, so we know it does pretty well there. Let's, uh, let's get rid of our injured... Oh, oh, I didn't even use... Those were tier 4. I didn't realize that. I thought these were all tier 5. Okay. Yeah, we want to we want to use all the tier 5 ones. Imperial Elite, that's why. Okay, I used the wrong command. Okay, well, let's get rid of them all. So if we do this again... Do 500... Imperial... Elite. The Navigathon. There we go. Okay. That's the right guys. Okay. And then we need to heal our guys so we can actually fight the battle. Now let's go. We're, we're going to test it against each faction just to make sure. So let's see how well they do. Uh, let's see. We have to attack somebody, don't we? I'm just going to retreat. Let's go siege down. Actually, what we could do is let's just do... Uh, Camp, uh, player versus World War, that we wouldn't have to keep declaring it. Alright, so let's go ahead and besiege this town until we get attacked by a bigger army than ours, and then that'll save us a bit of time. Beat it up. The whole smithing and crafting economy is silly. Yeah, they've been trying to pat. They've been trying to uh, balance it for such a long time. Just doesn't seem like it's it's doable. So I don't know. All right, are they not going to have troops? I mean, it's Asrai. They usually have ten thousand troops. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. But they're they're still at. Why are they attacking? All right, we're going to get away because that's not big enough army. We want to we want to fight outnumbered. We don't want to fight even or battles that we have an advantage. Yeah, these guys are not the smartest. Okay, so that 
that gave up 50 units. Let's uh, siege it down again, see if they can get more. I wish you peace. Is that better? Okay, there we go. So now they have the balance of power in their favor, just a little bit. Okay, like I said, we're, we're trying to find a, a meta. We're not, this isn't necessarily going to be the, the final one. This is going to be a tactic in the guide. This isn't going to be the tactic because this is obviously boring. But, I mean, if you're looking for a good meta and you only want to use Empire Troops. But more importantly, this should influence what the meta is, right? So if, if you're going to be using a decent amount of infantry. Oh, whoa, we're getting crushed. Hold up. No, they're pulling it back. They're pulling it back. Yeah, they didn't do quite as well. Uh, why is that? Interesting. They do have some horse archers. I don't know if, if they're being super effective. Let's regroup. We need to re we need to consolidate our our troops again. And then I guess we're just going to go straight in. Oh uh, yeah, see, look at that. Those are probably low tier. They, their reinforcements are probably low tier. They're just going to get completely swallowed whole. So that still works. They're, yeah, there's no way they win that. Right? No? Oh, our guys are starting to lose their morale. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> nope, they're, they're going to win. Oh, maybe these three horse archers are going to pull it. They're going to pull off the upset for them. That's funny. The Ferris and the Mameluke are the culprit? Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll look at the numbers. Alright, they're gonna play cowards. Yeah, they're just running around. I think they're gonna... Yeah, that's it. Okay, sweet. So... Now, this was a bigger battle, so this isn't... This isn't apples to apples, so... Uh, but, but still, 872 versus 473, so 2 to 1 ratio in this case. But let's see who did really well on their side. So if we look at... Unfortunately, they have a lot. I, I really wish that they had... I, I wish they had an uh, option where you can consolidate everybody's units into one thing. Because right now, if you want to know how well the archers did, you have to look at Asar archers for Unkid's army. Then you have to look at it for Arwas. Then you got to look at it for this guy. I, I want it all in one, one format. So like you should be able to switch back and forth between these two because... It's so hard to tell who's doing what in this case. You'd have to add them all up separately. I did that before, and it took me like a week of, of just running the data and collecting it like this. It took forever, man. Uh, but if we look at who did a lot of kills, so their footmen actually did pretty well. I wonder if their footmen counter ours. Their infantry did pretty well, too. Do the Asari infantry counter these guys? Yeah, we'll have to test that out. We, we could test that. We can make that... We can make that a test in the the custom scenario again. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just take three. So we'll leave. Just get rid of everybody. We got the command already for five hundred. All right, so there. That seems pretty reasonable. So the asteroid actually did pretty well. Um, but again, that may be due specifically because of the the number of units that showed up these aren't even battles necessarily but um right, let's see what dirthurt does do their footmen have maces yes i believe they do i believe they do i gotta uh, actually flisson would know because he he uses them a lot for those bandit quests the the hideout quests and uh they're turning in troops to what do you call it like the the mine and, and whatever else it is Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. They're not even attacking with, with 800. That's kind of surprising. Durthurt, you're such a... You are a... You know what? All right, so this is a little bit too skewed. So let's make it a little more even. Let's give ourselves... How does 100 more look? We have to, we have to update it. Yeah, so that's a little bit closer. So we'll be outnumbered more than 2 to 1, but let's see. Alright, come on. Can we get a formation going here? There we go. Forward! Put 
Yeah, so this might be more in our favor because this is a cav heavy. And look at that, their their crossbowmen aren't even doing anything. They just got stomped. Yeah, they're going to have a tough time here, I think. Oh, whoa, wait a second. We're getting rolled up. I'm going to be really curious to see who, what units of theirs did well. Okay, so we lost everything there. That front line just got demolished. Let's move these guys up. Alright, so they're going in. Yeah, more reinforcements. This is an interesting battle, because it looked like we were getting stomped, but it just the way the reinforcements come in, it's kind of weird. F1, F3 with infantry is the meta. Unfortunately, it might be. Yeah, it'd be unfortunate, but... At least, I, I guess, it, against specific armies, yes, that's probably the case. But maybe not against all. Oh, look at that. It's all literally all green. There's no red in there at all. Yeah, it, when it comes down to the last, like, two, three hundred units that they have, they send in their best ones first. And so, when it comes to the end, we can be outmatched, like, eight to one, and we'll still win because we have, you know, tier, tier five versus a bunch of tier one and tier two units. Wow, look at that. 1200 for 484. Durther got stomped. All right, so who did who did well? These got no, not well at all. I I don't think any of their units are gonna do well. So oh well, there you go, the Volge. That's why. So if they had a bunch of Volge, they would do well. So 17, and they only lost 11. Let's see over here. Their archers actually did pretty well. 17, eight. They had 18 people and, and 11 deaths, which is not terrible. The Volger got a 5 to 2. That's really good. Everything else was bad. Oh, the Billman. 15 kills and 3 deaths. That's really good. Yeah, man. I'm not really seeing anything amazing here. Like, if you look at their crossbowmen, they didn't really do that well either. I think maybe they didn't have enough time to get shots off. Levy cross, yeah, obviously these aren't going to do too well because they're they're trash ones. But the hard crossbowmen and the sharpshooters, but the banner knights are, their cavalry are pretty much useless. They're ineffective, which is not too surprising. The Volge are outperforming though. Ten, ten, kill. They're usually two to one. So I think if it was Volge versus Menabliaton, they would probably win. The Volge would. Yeah, this is pretty interesting stuff. They should be switching to send low tier first. Yeah, I, I agree. Or at least mix them in, you know, so it's not it's not just a bunch of throwaway units. <coughs> Alright, so let's dump everybody. Heal and we'll get into the 500. So that was one, two, three. I mean, do we even need to test Sturgia to be honest? Or or Batania. I feel like Batania is gonna get stomped badly too. But we'll see. Hey Jeff, thanks for showing up, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is MCM and Butterlib still broken? On maybe on 1.1.0, but not on uh 1.03. Still, you're outnumbered by fifty percent, and even 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 numbers would have been a stomp. Yeah, it would. Veterans would usually reinforce the rear guard, so elite units arrive later, making more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a, a nice cheap shield wall up front to soak up a lot of those the missile, the projectiles is is probably a good a good uh, plan. Uh, so we're in the nighttime. Let's move the time up a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see. Uh, what do we need? Like eight hours?
Yeah, that should be better. All right. So let's. Oh yeah, we gotta spread these guys out. So I, I hope I, I know I've made comments before in, in videos saying that I don't really use cavalry, um, and I hope seeing tests like this kind of make you understand why. It's not that they're necessarily bad. I just don't know how to use them, and I, I really struggle with figuring that out. So I don't know. Wow, they're actually quite effective against our infantry. This might be too much. Yeah, I mean, we'll get reinforced, but it, it's looking kind of rough. Yeah, I, you know, maybe cavalry are really good when you're outmatching the enemy, and you just want to you want to get better kdr than if you had just a bunch of infantry but in an even match or if you're if you're on the you know if you're outnumbered and outmatched i feel like they're just not going to do that well it's hard to find a spot for them okay so the batanians won it doesn't necessarily mean that batanians are better it just maybe means that they had more units because these aren't even battles but i i'm more interested to see how well their units did to see if there's anything in there that stood out. Oh, look at that. Sword Sister didn't get a single kill. No surprise there. Uh, let's see. Clan Warrior. Actually, their infantry seemed to do pretty well. 14 deaths, 22... Uh, 14 kills, 22 deaths. Yeah, I'm not seeing any big standouts here. I mean, it's still... Oh, Kohlharn died. That's funny. Alright, what about the Fian? Yeah, I see the archers do pretty well. I'm still not seeing like a standout unit. Oh, you know what? The skirmishers. That's true. That's a good point. So that would have be, been... Let's see. The foxmen. Oh, the foxmen did really well here. Yeah, this is... Interesting. I'm not really seeing a big trend here necessarily. It seemed like their units did pretty well overall. There's no like standout. Okay. Well, at least I've I've got all the data there from that. So. Okay, so let's let's go back to the drawing board here and see if we can come up with something. So we were fighting against Kazate, right? That was the main force we were using, and they had Yeah, Darkon, Spear Infantry. I, I have some ideas and how I think we can beat them, but it it's not gonna be easy. Uh we gotta kind of figure this out. Let's give them Archer. Uh, actually, we're doing, yeah, three tiers. So we want to try and keep this pretty even. One, two, three. Okay. And we're going to skip the cavalry. So let's give them tier. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, horse Archer and Raider. So we're going to give them the. The regular line since we're skipping ours just to, to keep it even one chug and then we're going to be using a little bit of yeah i think we just got to split we still need a little bit of a shield wall i feel like actually you know what let's stick with just the shield wall i what i, I want to try something else let's do this uh we're doesn't matter we're skipping these so that's fine. So we're going to go with something like this. 30, 70. And I think the AI is usually around like 40 or 35. Maybe something like that. Probably around 20%. Uh, maybe like 
20 and 25, something like that. Seems reasonable. Oh, I forgot which map we were using. Uh, we don't want to use... Yeah, we'll just use one of the, the, the planes ones. Uh, and these guys do need to have even numbers, so let's do that. All right, let's 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 try this. So what we're going to try and do, if we're losing our battle when the infantry meet, then what we need to do is have... We need to avoid the infantry meeting as long as we can. So we'll keep our infantry of one solid formation. But we will split up the archers. So let's go ahead and do, I think, three archer formations is probably sufficient. And we may get completely dunked on by splitting them up like this, but we have to at least try, and then we can adjust our strategy later. So we'll start with one. We're going to go two, two, three, four. And just for simplicity's sake, so you guys can see what's going on, let's let's just do top down. So two. Let's get these guys split up. These guys spread out a little bit, and four. All right, so there here comes their their horse archers. We already knew that's going to happen. We, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. They're just going to have to come and and do their thing. Now what we want to do is is get our our shield wall up to slow the progress of these guys, and that will hopefully give us a chance to to get a flank. So if they're coming in like this, so let's move our archers. Oh no, not these guys, not these guys. Three, we need group three, and group four, to come up, and hopefully they can get shots off. Okay, so here come their infantry. I was not paying attention. We're gonna get stomped, maybe. Let's see. So we want to retreat our infantry. I would usually use the fallback command, but unfortunately I wasn't paying attention, so now we have to just move them back. But that's fine. It pushes their horse archers into like that, that firing line. So I don't know, maybe we'll do okay. Yeah, see our our, our infantry are gonna get mopped up right here. It's not good. Right, let's see how things are looking. They're not looking good. Let's just give our infantry the charge command. There's not much else we can do. Shield wall. That'll shield wall. They'll get less kills, but they'll they'll die slower. So maybe I'll give our archers a little bit of time. And it doesn't look like this is going to help too much, but we'll see. Yeah, they just got completely mopped up. So middle formation. It looks like they're charging this middle formation. So we need to move them back first. And what my hope is is that they're going to get flanked. But that may not be the case. Right, let's get these guys into a position where they can flank these infantry. Same thing here. Yeah, see, the hope is that the archers can get flanks on these uh, infantry. Oh, they turned back. Interesting. Are they trying to reconsolidate? So now they're in, like, this triangle of, of archer fire, but it doesn't seem to be helping because their cavalry are just wrecking ours. The reckon our our, uh, our archers. Yeah, the the whole point of our infantry there was supposed to be a delaying action, not so much for fighting and getting kills, but he like said that didn't seem to work. This is a tough battle against the Kazate, man. I think even numbers, you have a real tough time if if you're not cheesing it. Yeah, I, I may have to spend a bit of time offline after this, uh, testing a bunch of stuff. I, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. This is this is a tough one. Yeah, we got we got out outgunned two to one. But how did our archers do? So that yeah, see the trained infantrymen are basically useless. Man, I, I don't I don't want to use one type of unit only. I was gonna say if we just get rid of them and use archers. That's just not that's not interesting and it's not fun. Legionary, I mean, the, we can't even really look at the infantry numbers though. It, the trained archer did poorly. 
Even the veteran archer did not all that all that well. Let me think here. I want to try one more thing. Let's boost up the infantry just a little bit. And I want to try... I, I really wish they fixed the freaking shield wall. Or the, the square formation. It's really disappointing that they still haven't done that. Individually, let's go. Right, that's fine. So, we, get this guy. we need to get off the wall, I guess. Soldiers, move! Right, so infantry. Let's let's get the infantry up. My hope is that we can get some flanking shots on them, but it, it <clears throat> with the way the infantry work right now, the 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 square formation, it just doesn't really work that well. Before, you could put them in, in square, and you can just let the enemy kind of circle around, and then you can get some pretty easy flanking shots. It's just not like that anymore. It's unfortunate. But we'll try it again. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe it'll be useful. Probably not. There we go. Now, what do they do? Yeah, they do have their shields up, so that helped. I'm curious if they turn to at least face the direction they're getting shot from. It doesn't look like it. And it looks like the archers are the ones that are dying. Yeah, it's our archers that are getting shot up. Let's try and turn to face them, but their archers are just going to wreck ours. I mean, even though we outnumber them 2 to 1 in that backside, it doesn't really matter. Yikes, man. <laughs> Yikes. That's all I can say. Alright, so they're... Yeah, we're not handling their horse archers at all. Like we, like I said, we've got mount number 2-1 to one in the backfield. But it just doesn't matter. Yeah, so the the idea is to have them wrap around our our shield wall. We don't we don't need the shield wall to get kills. We just want them to survive as long as they can. But they're probably, that's probably not going to happen. They're just going to get stomped. But we'll we'll see. I, I wanted to at least test it out. So now, as they do that, we can wrap our archers around the side. Or at least that's the idea. You know, we can we can take shots a along the length of their line, which is where they don't have their. Um, Yeah, see, one archer formation's already gone. Their their cab, their horse archers, completely negate our archers. So that's that's the biggest issue here. We can't get our archers into the battle. Here. Whoa. Yeah. So I mean, that one's obviously lost. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, if we if we give up, if we give up ten percent here, if we get give, give up ten percent here, and if we take on say like ten percent here. Hmm. I'm just trying to find a way that'll give our archers a chance to not get stomped. I I don't yeah, I don't know. I I'm trying to see if this will give us a chance to get our guys set up in time. That shield wall was was pretty bad, so we're obviously not gonna do that. Let's get our cab back there. We'll do again. Archers.
Yeah, I mean, we already know they're going to come on this side, so... But, the, but, like I said, the problem is not necessarily the horse archers. I, mm, yeah, this is like a like a tough chess match <laughs> when you're when you're down a queen or something. It's rough. It really, what it, what we're trying to do is get on the flank of their infantry. That that's the goal. Get on the flank of the infantry with our archers, and we just need to survive long enough to do that. So if we can get our cav, if we can just get enough. To back them off then i think that'll allow us to do that so what about multiple squares of infantry yeah that could work the the problem with the infantry is like i said they're they're just they're not even meant to survive they're just a delaying force we need to hold them in place so that our archers can get in the fight with with those shots all right so let's let's move up we'll get archers up here these guys on the flank and like I said if we can if we can just scare them off as they come in that that's really a, a win in my books yeah see we keep them off All right, so we'll pull them back so th that does work using if using cavalry to help shield your your uh, archers against horse archers is a decent tactic. Yeah, and then again, we just charge them, tell them to piss off. Okay, so now they're starting to push in. Let's move our infantry back. Right, let's pull the cab back again. We don't want to just throw them away, but we'll, we'll keep using them as that. And this archer formation, let's start angling them off a little bit. Angle these archers a bit. Angle these archers a bit. Alright, so that's their cav and their horse archers. So yeah, this cav unit is, is actually doing a pretty decent job keeping them off, at least. But maybe not necessarily getting kills, which is fine. All right, now we're gonna we're really trying to pull them in. This is this is the here. I'll pause it real quick. This right here is our kill zone. We need to get all as many units into this zone as we can and delay them from attacking as as long as we can. Is this a mod? Yeah. So I'm using the RTS camera mod, so you guys can see top down. It makes it a lot easier. If I'm if I'm down on the field, it's still doable. It's a little bit slower, but then you can't really see what's going on. So that's why I'm trying to use this. But yeah, it's it's not a real good realistic representation of like what what the real battle would look like. So, uh, okay, let's keep our infantry there. All right, cavalry need to keep telling these guys to bugger off. All right, let's scare. It looks like the majority of them are over here. So let's do that. And I'm just gonna let them charge at this point. I think we're kind of past the point where we can do much. We just kind of have to let them do their thing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull our infantry back, and we're going to pull the archers back. Oh, not these guys. I meant the other ones. Three. Group three, come back. And we're going to consolidate these a little bit so they can withstand the, the enemy cavalry just a little bit better. Alright, so group three archers are right here. They seem to be doing okay. Yeah, their horse archers are still doing a pretty good job against ours. We're going to keep pulling them back. We want to pull them in as, as much as we can. Group 2 can move in a little bit. Group 4 can move in a little bit. See if we can tighten that noose. And what I'm going to do is let me pull... Let's pull our infantry off to this side slightly. We'll pull the archers off slightly to this side and see if we can get an even better flank. So we're going to pull infantry off here. Archers should be shooting in here. Oh, they're going after these archers. Interesting. So they want these guys. But we'll just pull back again. And what we'll do is we'll use our infantry to flank their, their archers. Or whatever. What are, oh, those, what are those? Cav? Why do they have cav in the back? Kind of weird. Oh, here we go. There we go. They're going for it. So they just turned their back. So these archers can now get back involved. <laughs> Kenneth, can I name a firstborn strike gaming? 
You you could. Your your wife your wife might be a little bit upset. <coughs> Strapless on gaming is gonna get bullied. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so our archers over here got decimated. Alright, we're gonna charge in with our, our infantry because it'll at least give these archers a pretty easy shot on their back. Yeah, look at that. They're getting shot on their flank. So that's, that's pretty good. And we did do a good job microing these guys. I should have moved them in closer. The closer they are, the more damage they'll do because they're going to be more accurate. And closer shots do more damage. Yeah, F, F and Chef for poor group 2 archers. They got stomped. Same thing with the infantry. See, once the infantry meet, they're useless. They just got completely stomped. Hmm. But this is giving me an idea. So I do have... A use for cavalry possibly so let's let's let this one play out so we can get the full full data we're gonna speed it up a little bit oh I was telling somebody the other day so uh, I've, I've been using strat for a very long time like since I was I don't know nine or ten or something like that uh, I originally I was playing laser tag at a, uh, a place in what was it in Vegas or some visiting family and they had a, a, a bunch of computers on a LAN, and they were playing Warcraft 2. And I'd never played a strategy game on PC before, so I started playing. And I loved it. And then, I, you know, you get called into the uh, the laser tech thing, and they, they say, well, you know, what's your call sign? And I had no clue what that meant, so, you know, yeah, you need a nickname. And so I went with Strategy Boy, because I really liked Warcraft 2, and it was a strategy game. So I figured, why not? That makes sense. Really, really unoriginal name. Really stupid, but... It stuck with me, so I've had that name literally since I was 9 or 10 years old. But then I shortened it to Strat because I kept getting called uh, Strap-On Boy. <laughs> Which is not uh, conducive to, to a fun time, so. If you really want to name your kid the original, you can call him Strategy Boy. <laughs> uh, good luck with that, though. Okay, so how did the numbers turn out 112 to 82 losses so the palatine guard did pretty well the cataphract actually the elite cataphract out outdid their their losses I'm, I'm a little shocked at that so they did pretty well heavy horsemen are useless regular cataphract did okay so these guys are basically filler units the legionary kind of held their own not not too bad considering they were outnumbered and then the trained infantry got stomped Veteran infantry got stomped. And then on their side, who did well on their side? So obviously the Darkon did pretty well, but they were getting shot up. The heavy horse archer, look at that. The horse archers de destroyed us. So their horse archers did really well this time. It looks like the horse archers were the problem and their cavalry. But that makes sense because they were they were really picking off our, our, uh, our archers pretty well. So... Oh, man. Even their horse archers, like the low-tier ones, did well. Like, look at this. The raiders, these are tier 3 units. They did well. Yikes. Okay, well, I have an idea. So let's, let's try something else. A group of shock with each archer group in charge as things get close. That could work, actually. Uh, that Actually, that's a really good idea. So... Let's do this. Let's get rid of these. Let's just have only the Manablates on. We're going to add them to each Archer group. We're only going to keep maybe 15%. Okay, we want this to be zero. Uh, okay, we want this to be 15% because we don't want a ton. We just need enough. I I'm going to try something a little different here. So let's try 60% and 25% Cav. But that means we have to open up theirs to, uh, 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 we have to use the cons guard because that's keeping it even. Right, yeah, so that makes sense. So three units there, three units, three units, that's fine.
So I'm just thinking through this real quick. So let's actually get rid of the low tier archers. I think that'll be it because we're going to be relying heavily on the archers and let's just even it out a little bit. Okay, so the plan here, let, let's let's talk about a game plan here. Yeah, can we do can we do melee and Yeah, we can. Okay, sweet. All right, so what we want to do is do archer and infantry. Archer infantry and we do need a cav formation. So let's just get these guys out of the way. We'll do 3 we're going to do 33% on each. We'll lock those. Let's go 33%. All right, this is this is going to be the funkiest formation you'll ever see. All right, let's try it. We're we're experimenting here, right? We're in the we're in the lab. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, this one's not there we go. All right. Now we're going to put Cav and Cav. Get rid of this one. 50-50. I think two Cav is probably more than enough. So you can sort results right or left click. For example, a, de a dead's icon. Oh, that's a good point. Are you talking about on the on the end screen? That's a very good point. You can sort by that. But, but it doesn't... Hmm. Can you sort by the name? Because then that would put all the same type together. I'll have to look at that. That's a good point, though. I forgot about that. Yeah, let, let me let me look at that then. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Like I guess we're going to do it a little different here. We're going to have three groups. We have archers. Oh, why is this one so much bigger? Is this one it's got so many more units in it? It's kind of weird. Okay, so this is Tail World's math at its finest, right? <laughs> I guess thirty-three percent is eleven, right? Eleven of seventy-five is thirty-three percent. That makes sense. If we redo it, does that redo it? Yeah, it does. Okay. I guess it just needs to be jiggled, right? Just like when things are broken in real life, you just jiggle them a little bit and they work. Like your computer starts working, you just shake it a bit. <laughs> okay, so the plan, so the idea here is the archers are going to do well against their infantry, but they do really poorly against enemy cavalry. So if we put Manabliaton in the archer formation, they should be able to at least hold their own against the enemy uh, cavalry. But we still struggle against... Let's put these guys out. We still struggle against their horse archers. So if we go heavier into cavalry, we can at least delay their cavalry and their horse archers. So we're going to try and play no infantry, just archers and cavalry. So let's see what happens. Hey, Sabir, what's up, man? Thanks for showing up. Smack it on the side, give it a jiggle. Yeah. It's kind of weird that sometimes it actually does work. I don't know why. When you play custom battle, the percentage is trash. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. <laughs> All right, so let's actually keep these guys. Uh, let's just keep them where they are. And then we're going to we're going to do some funky stuff with our cav. Actually, let's retreat these guys. We want them to be into our, our firing range of our archers. Let's get Archer Group 3 at a nice little angle here. Alright, Cav Group 5, Cav Group 4, they can go around the back now. So the main point of the Cavalry is literally just to deal with their enemy Cavalry. We don't want them to do anything else. Alright, so they're stuck in. Let's get these guys to cover their retreat, hopefully. Alright, so we're getting into their retreat line. And we're going to charge. And our cavalry are getting stomped. Jeez Louise, man. These guys are so bad. Alright, so we should just be using them to, to block. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see. How well do they do 
against the cav charge. So there should be some Benavliots on in there. I'm seeing a distinct lack of dead horses. There's literally zero dead horses there. Okay, well, so maybe it doesn't help. Maybe this time? Second time's a charm? Alright, still no dead horses. <laughs> Let's send these guys out again. Yeah, this is not working out. Okay, so this was a bum. Or I didn't, or I didn't manage it right. One of those two. Okay, we're starting to get some kills here. I'm not sure what that's from. Let's send our cavalry to turn these... Let's at least attack their archers. And my my hope and wish is that the enemy cavalry do get stuck into some of our manablates on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. You guys stand still. Alright. Cavalry, you go do cavalry stuff to their archers, please. Alright, so their enemy infantry are turning. And if we turn these guys, what does that do? Alright, so we want to back up and preferably not fight these guys head on. Let's get our infantry there. See, the problem with giving cav... This is why I don't give cavalry charge commands, because then this happens. They're just sauntering through the enemy shield wall like, oh, no big deal. It could cost me my life, but whatever. We'll just do it. Just so stupid. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Both of our cavalry got stomped. They're gone. They're completely gone. Yeah, you could re rear charge the, the infantry. That's what I was thinking about doing, but then they can't even rear charge the freaking archers. Like, they, they didn't do any damage. We'll look at the numbers and see how well they did, but I, I suspect they did basically nothing. Alright, so these guys, let's turn them. We're just going to give charge command at this point. It's pretty much lost. Alright, how bad was it? Cataphract, yeah, see, look at the, ah, the cataphracts. They just did nothing. Even the elite cataphract. Heavy horsemen, even worse. They're just such a waste of a unit. The Manavliton did pretty well. <laughs> Which we already knew, because using Manavliton only did, did really well, so. Okay. Palace guards didn't do all that well. Veteran archer got stomped. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Delegate command to the AI cap. We can try that again. Let's let's try that. Yeah, let, let, that's actually a pretty good idea. Oh, we got to redo this formation again. That sucks. You know what though? Let's let's also open this up a little bit. Let's make this a bit more. So let's go twenty five percent. Mr. Squigglies, if you can record it and show it, show me on an, like an even battle, because I know Cav do really well if you're fighting against like low tier, like if you fight against an AI army in the battlefield and they, they just have a bunch of low tier and you've got some high tier Cav. The high tier Cav do really well because they can hit and run, but against like comparably equipped units, I in my experience, they just don't do that well. I, I'm not sure why. Like I said, a lot of it probably has to do with me not knowing how to use them properly. So... And I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. If I'm just bad at using them, then then it is what it is. <laughs> all right, we want to switch all these to the mix. So Thirty-three and lock. Oh yeah, that's that's accurate, right? 34%, 32%, 151%, 103%. <laughs> oh man. 
Right, so how do I get it to actually... Yeah, that's fine. That's close enough. Okay, so we're going to micro these guys. We'll let the cab take... We'll let the AI take over for the cab. Right, so five and stick. Five and six. Delegate command. All right, sweet. So they're off doing their thing. Hopefully they don't just, uh, you know... They okay. No, they were just not doing anything. Okay, so they're only sending one one group of cab. There they go. Okay, so they're doing their thing. Alright, what we're gonna do this time is we'll keep a little bit tighter formation. Yeah, say look at the I mean our cab are engaging them, but they're just throwing their, their lives away for nothing. It's just a waste. This is this is my typical experience with Cav. Which is fine. I mean we gotta test it, you never know. Yeah, see they're they're over there running them up, but well, I mean they're they're holding them off though. They're not charging our archers. That's interesting. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and push these guys up, draw their attention. Oop, not these guys. Let's see if we can get a good flank with this group. And we'll prepare these guys as well. So this flank is going to come on this side. These guys are going to stay like this. And as they come in, we'll we'll pull them into that center. Like I said, hopefully. All right, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Draw them in. Now their horse archers are now free and loose to do whatever they want. So unfortunately, they got wasted. Yeah, cavalry versus cavalry shield wall. Yep. The the problem is they have horse archers, which are gonna outrun if you go in shield wall, so it's it's kind of bad news bears. So Okay, so I see some dead cavalry here. This is good news. That's actually pretty good. So let's let's keep delaying. If we can delay as long as we can. The problem is their archers are just gonna have free reign on ours, so let's just charge their archers. And what are these guys doing? These guys are getting killed by horse archers. That's fun. <laughs> but I mean, there's not much we could do about it. We we can't we can't exactly catch them. But okay, that formation is completely decimated. Well, I didn't work too well. <laughs> Can you command your troops like that without console commands? So this is this is with the the mod. This is the RTS mod. So no, not really. You need a mod to be able to do this. And like I said, I'm I'm only using this specifically to show you guys, making it easier to see what's actually going on. And then once when it once it comes time to actually doing the thing, I'll I'll do both. I'll show that it's done. You can do it on the ground, and also you know you be able to see what's going on from the top down. And once again, the only units that are even remotely useful are the Manavliots on. Score formations. Yeah, we can try it. And we'll, we'll take control of the cab this time. Alright, so... Uh, we gotta do it again. It's, I wish it would save your formation on for cab. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three. We'll go square. Oh, wow, that's a tight one. Interesting. 
I haven't seen that in a long time. Usually the squares are like spread out. Problem is when we move them, they're going to spread out again, but I mean, that's fine. Alright, and again, we're going to use the cav specifically to screen. Actually, let's let the archers, let's let the horse archers get in. And then hopefully we can, we can swing around them or something. Alright, let's swing around this side. But they're going to back off. That's fine. Right, and we're going to come back. Now, we should be able to do better against their cab this time in square. Although, I don't see anybody getting a kill yet. Hold on, boys. Let's move the square back a little bit. Let's move the square back a little bit. Yeah, their their horse archers are just really effective when when you let them get in your backfield. We're we're getting completely stomped. I don't I don't think square really does much. They they kind of broke it, and especially if you're trying to use ranged units. Square is not all that effective, so. Why do you have your army set up this way? I'm, I'm just testing a bunch of different stuff. So, we started out with, like, a normal army composition and trying to see if there was a good, effective way to counter. And then by looking at which units underperform and which units perform well, then we're kind of coming up with a, a, a plan for the army composition. So, for example... The, uh, the horse archer, you know, empire horse archers are really bad. Uh, the cav are really bad. So we're trying to minimize that, but... Charge the cav into their archers and then flank their infantry with three squares. The, yeah, the problem is... They... I mean, our our squares didn't even meet their line. And they, they just got stomped. Like, if you look at where our guys died, they died back here. So they wouldn't even have time to reach there because the horse archers, the enemy horse archers, just picked them off really, really badly. Yeah, I mean, Manabliton seems to be the only way to do it with, with the Empire anyways, so I don't know. I am kind of curious. Let's see. I want to test one thing. Oops. What if we did this? I mean, I hate doing this, but if it's the only way to win, that's, I mean, it's still cheesy, right? Because you're not. The other way, we were using only Manavliton, and it worked. This time, we only use right. archers. I don't know. I'm hoping we have enough firepower to just completely blast them off the map. <laughs> all, all archer army? Yeah. I mean, look at it, It's working. We're taking them out. We just have overwhelming firepower. That's That's all it is. All right, so let's move these guys back slowly. Let's straighten these guys out so they're not getting completely stomped. Yeah, w once their cab get in there, it's it's kind of hard to deal with it. And the only way to counter that is to get our archers. Like, here, watch, I'll do it right here. So let's go tight formation. Let's get a real tight square, although there may not be enough people left to, to do anything about it. Oh, did we kill all their horse? Uh, we killed all their horses. <laughs> oh, man. But well, anyways, that's GG anyways. These guys got picked off. Hmm. 
But, I mean, if you look at the numbers, I guarantee you this is better than what we did with the mixed army, though. This game would be so different if you had to pay for arrows? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It'd be interesting to see. Oh, man, I got a lot of stuff to think about. Man, I, I, I don't think I can work on this guide yet, because I don't have enough info. I, I need to have... I need to have at least a solid tactic that's not cheese. I mean, obviously... Obviously, I'll include the, the Manabliton. That's that's a no-brainer. But I, I want to find a good mix where it's not, you know, maybe no one-party army is more than 40%. I gotta think about it. Empire army rolls over Kazate. I mean, if you... I don't know. You need, prep, you need practice with the combined army? Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, the legionaries were getting destroyed. So the Darkon are, are significantly better than legionary. Here, I'll show you. Alright, so using head-to-head, -head, this should be pretty even, right? Uh, it's, it's not even going to be close. The downside to infantry only is campaign movement speed. Yeah, yeah, that is that is a bit of a drag. So this should be a pretty lopsided battle in favor of the legionary, but I don't I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, they're winning. So they win now, but when we use them in a real battle, they didn't win. <laughs> I gotta control it a little better. Maybe the the lines were a little bit off. So let's get these guys right here, and we'll control these guys right here. Make sure the lines sort of match at least. All right, there we go. So that's that should be a, a pretty reasonable, reasonable battle. Yeah, I don't know why it's showing that. This is really weird because when we were doing the battle earlier, the legionary were getting stomped. Here, All right, let's go back to. Maybe let's just use high tier then. So let's just use only high tier. We'll try and come up with some. Some kind of game plan here then. And we'll we'll also use some horse archers. And then we'll Okay, so only marksmen. Only heavy lance and the comms guard, which is gonna be a nightmare, but it is what it is. So let's go infantry heavy, maybe like twenty-five percent here. Twenty-five percent here, ten percent there. I don't know, does that seem reasonable? And then maybe like 30%, 20%. Because you already know the Kazade are going to be pretty heavy on, on the Cav. Probably more so on the Horse Archers. Is Skein still the best formation? Yeah, it's pretty good. It, it, the, the only issue here is we're trying to deal with a bunch of different factors. So it's it's... It, it can be tough because if, if you need a shield wall, then, you know, Skane's not going to help. But, I don't know. We, we can try it. Alright, and we're going to keep... We'll keep the horse archers there, or the, the cav. And then horse archers, again, we can just use to harass. Alright, so game plan as usual, draw these guys in. We'll use the archers. Now these are cons guards, so these guys are, you know, the worst of the worst. They're going to be really nasty to fight against.
All right, we need them to we need to get them in a little bit further before we charge our cab in. All right, we can charge them in now. We don't want to overcommit, so we'll pull back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is the way to go. I really don't know. Maybe you use Empire troops because there are ton, tons of them, and why use them? Easy to replace an army. That is true. That's true. Ignore the horse archers. So if there was a couple, a couple tests we did where we pretty much did that, and they absolutely wrecked our, our, uh, our lines. All right, here come, and these are cons guards, so these are like no joke. All right, what I'm going to do is we're going to scare their horse archers off, and we're also going to send the, our cav into their cav line. We want to try and engage their cav in a spot where we have the advantage. So let's go ahead and straighten out Let's go ahead and straighten out our skein. Uh, we want it to be a little bit more, a little bit wider. Straighten out the archer formation so they can get some decent shots in. And have them close enough to our infantry that they can actually do a, a good job. Alright, so there's their enemy, there's their cav. So they're, they're engaging them, that's good. Horse archers are getting involved though, they're still shooting. So some point like this, we could probably retreat and try and draw them back into our line. And they're, actually, they're they're holding up pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. We haven't lost that many. I think we started with around 120. Yeah, we lost 10. That's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and push in. We should have the advantage there, especially against their archers. And the Bukalari, let's pull them back because they're going to get completely stomped. And then I think we're in a good enough spot. We can sandwich these guys against the, the corner of the map. All right, let's go ahead and charge in. Because as we saw in that test, our legionary should outperform the Darkon. We have more units there too, so that should be an easy battle. And somehow these cav got out. Right, let's get our horse archers into a flanking position. At least we should have probably done that sooner. That was my mistake. Yeah, see, this is what ends up happening: is the infantry gets stomped, and I, I don't know if I'm just mismanaging it. I don't know why they're getting beat so badly. And I told these guys to move here. Why are they not moving? Have you messed with Bannerlord online? Not no, I haven't. I've looked at it, but I haven't I haven't played it yet. Yeah, I mean the the thing is, as as the player, ninety five percent of the battles you fight, you're gonna be, you're gonna have the tier unit advantage. So a lot of this isn't even that useful. But it's for those fights where you know you're just starting a kingdom. Maybe you don't have, a hundred percent high tier, or you have high tier, but you're outnumbered by a by a significant amount. You're gonna need to, maybe fast speed is messing with it. It could be. Um, you, you're gonna need to use some better tactics because you can't just f1 f3 i mean if you've got good units you f1 f3 is fine you're, you're gonna win no matter what you do it's almost harder to lose than it is to win if you have better units right so all you use them as dragoons yeah that's what i was hoping to use i somehow lost track but let's see let's see how yeah, see if you look at the kill, the kill count here, their their Darkons completely obliterated our uh, our legionary. So in that heads up test, for whatever reason, I don't know why it is, 
but the heads up test the legionary did better but when you look at these the actual in battle they get stomped because there was it was just archers and it was uh darkon and our legionary got stomped so this is why you should do a solo clan member campaign yeah i'm, I'm editing something like that right now it's gonna take me a while though because i got like 60 to 70 hours of recordings to get through <laughs> it's a lot but um yeah I've, I've got something like that i you know i i need to i need to spend more time uh, maybe i need to do some research and see how other people are using their cav because i i can't get them to work if you look at uh how our cataphract performed they're they're underperforming even the bukalari did better than them so the bukalari 30 to 41 so that's you know 75 percent. this is 50 percent Legionary did the worst, and the Palatine Guard a little less than than fifty percent. So that's pretty bad. Infantry got flanked by Cav. Yeah, that could be it. I maybe I need to split the Cav and keep them from getting flanked. Yeah, they're getting damaged but not killed, and then the Darkons are getting the last hits. That could be too. Yeah, because they're getting shot at while they're in shield wall. That's true. We don't have anything softening them up. Oh, well, we do because we have our archer line, though. It should That should help. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Anyways, but that, yeah, we, we've gone a little over two hours. I was uh, hoping to keep it at two because I've, I've got to record a lot. So I just finished the last of, uh, on my, for the second channel. I've got no more recording. So I have to spend a lot of time recording today and editing. So I'm, I'm going to try and get the rest of the campaign recorded and then i'll edit it and uh, get it ready so i think that's probably it for this um oh, a little disappointed in that i i didn't perform all that well i let me, i'll do some more testing offline and then maybe we'll we'll redo this one again or we'll we'll move on to a different faction different culture and see if we can get some easy easier results and then uh, go from there but anyways Anyways, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today, so... But I hope this was fun. I mean, I hope there was a lot of stuff learned. I mean, just, uh... Lesson here is just... Spam Manabliton. Don't don't even buy any other units. All Manabliton, all the time. <laughs> yeah, cool. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for showing up, and, uh... I'll see you... I might do another stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. But, anyways. I will see you guys... Maybe tomorrow, if not, I, I need to edit that uh, that other video, the the YouTube versus McDonald's. I need to get that done. Actually, that's another thing I need to do. Yeah, it's a busy weekend. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.